All right, welcome back to another Ableton Live School tutorial with me, Yama Indra. In this tutorial, we're gonna have a look at a simple music theory tip, which is how to create chord progressions from a single sampled chord. First up, so you know what I'm talking about, we're gonna have a quick listen to a few examples of this type of chord progression in action, because this technique has a really unique and distinct sound that you've probably all heard plenty of times before. Let's check it out. Now in music theory jargon, we refer to this as chord planing or parallel harmony. So to make a chord progression like this, the first step is to find a chord that you really like and you're going to sample that chord to create your progression from it. Now I've bought in this track called Easy by the Commodores and the reason I've bought this one in is because right at the start of the track there's some really great piano chords all out there on their own that we can possibly sample. Okay, so let's take another quick listen through and I think my favorite chord was pretty much at the end here. Yeah, for me that chord, the last one, before it actually kicks in was the best chord. So I'm just gonna edit that out, cutting off the rest of the track around it and deleting that. So we are just left with that one chord. Okay, so now we've selected the chord that we're going to use to build our progression. Let's make a new MIDI track. We're gonna drop in a simpler, then we're gonna drop the chord into the simpler. And now that chord's gonna be playable across our whole MIDI keyboard as long as we have our track armed over here. But just so you can see at home a bit better, I'm gonna drop in this Max for Live keyboard. And now when I play back my keyboard, you can see the notes lighting up just playing one finger at a time. So the reason that this chord planning style of progression works is that instead of all the chords being in the same key as we'd usually want them to be, all of these chords actually have the same exact shape. So we're kind of breaking the rules of harmony, but it's still sounding acceptable to our ears. It's a technique that classical composers like Claude Debussy used to deliberately break the rules, but electronic musicians accidentally stumbled upon it as a byproduct of using samplers. And they suddenly realized they could create these quite complex and almost jazzy sounding chord progressions using just one single chord that they'd sampled into their sampler and playing it back with just one finger at a time. And I'm sure most of them didn't know it, but what they're actually doing was called chord planing, as we mentioned earlier. So I've jumped a bit ahead here and using that chord that we sampled from the Commodores track, I've recreated the chord progressions from the examples I showed you earlier using these one note MIDI sequences that you can see that I recorded in just using one finger at a time. So let's take a quick listen to that and then we're gonna come back and write our own original progression using that Commodore's sample again. So making this style of chord progression using a sampled chord, whatever sound you sample, you're gonna be stuck with. So we're gonna update that technique in a second to show you how you can use any sound you want. But first I'm gonna record an original chord progression of my own, just using one finger, and then the MIDI is triggering that chord we sampled from the Commodore's track. So let's tidy up that MIDI a little bit. We'll just come in and basically quantize it and make the notes a bit longer. Make them all about the same length. We'll trim these off so they're not crossing over. Right, so now we've tidied up our MIDI a bit. It sounds like this. So 
So now we have a pretty neat chord progression written, but what if we wanted to actually change the sound? Traditionally, we'd be more or less stuck with the sound that we sampled from the Commodore's track, but here's where Ableton Live 9's new Convert Audio to Harmony feature comes in. So right click to freeze this track, which turns it into an audio file, right click, and then flatten it, which gives us the audio file. We're gonna take that audio file, right click, and convert Harmony to new MIDI track. It takes a minute to think about it, so I'll fast forward through the thinking. Okay, now it's given us this Harmony to MIDI track here, and on that is a MIDI clip, which is the MIDI that Live has come up with from this audio. So here's our audio track. And now Live's MIDI version, which it's put a basic piano on so we can hear it, sounds like this. So now that we've extracted the MIDI from the audio, we can actually send that MIDI to any sound that we like. It might be a soft synthesizer or a hardware synthesizer or something else with an Ableton Live. But we have total power now over the sound design and the timbre of our chord progression. If I just hit the hot spot button here and I come in under the piano and keys, I've got a few different piano options. Each time I press them on, it's gonna do a little preview for me down here. And when I find one that I like, I can just double click it and it'll load it in and straight away we've changed our sound. And of course we're by no means limited to just other piano sounds. So don't forget you can sample any chord. Historically speaking though, if you sample a major chord, it's going to sound a little more kind of ravey, like it's referencing music from the mid 90s. Whereas if you sample a minor chord, it's going to sound a bit more deep house or garage. So there's no right and wrong. And we'd like to see you sample any chord you like and make it into a completely new genre and a new style.